everyone and a massive warm welcome back to my channel. So today I have another exciting Christmassy video. I have decided to film the only eating Christmas food for 24 hours challenge. I, for some reason, thought I had created this idea, this video idea. I thought, oh, no one's ever done it before. You know, people were doing the Halloween craze. I did the Halloween craze and try to keep up with all that stuff. I was like, let's do it for Christmas food. And then everybody's done it. And it's already been a thing for years. So I'm just doing, you know, a video that isn't my idea, but. <sighs> also, I just bought this tinsel from Asda. And I just thought I would wear it for the intro. How nice is this? It's like rainbow tinsel. I'm very excited. I went to good old Asda for this one. I tend to go to like Sainsbury's or Tesco. And I was like, no, I'm gonna go Asda because I watch Saffron Barker's and whenever she films them, she finds the best stuff and she always goes Asda. I'm gonna start out with breakfast. So I got these six, they're Christmas tree crumpets. I thought these were absolutely perfect. They're literally little crumpets shaped like Christmas trees. I was like, I love crumpets and they're Christmas trees, perfect. But before I eat my crumpets, I want to do my advent calendars. So I have just got like this Cadbury's Dairy Milk one, you know, the one everybody has. Um, so let's do door number five. Is it snowing yet? It's really, really not. I really want it to though. I was actually, I was just FaceTiming my mum and she actually was saying how we're gonna have a really, really like cold, snowy, stormy weather this weekend. Mm. So, whether that's true or not, I don't know. I came across, it's literally my dream advent calendar. Anyone who knows me knows how much I love cheese. Cheese is my life, cheese is my world. If cheese was a human, I would marry that dude. I got myself the cheese advent calendar. Now, I heard about these last year and I never got myself one. And they sell these as that you do have to keep them refrigerated and it isn't that small, which is interesting. But I'm sure I will make room. But yeah, there's 24 delicious cheeses inside and they all actually look like ones I would like. So you literally open it and this is what it looks like. Tis the season to be nibbling. And there's 24 doors. They're all like big doors as well. I'm actually so excited. I got this Asda. It cost me four pounds. It should have been six. I think that's such a good price, like for a cheese advent calendar. Ooh, nice. So the first one I've got is cheddar. And I like me some cheddar. Oh, I forgot Red Leicester. What do you call cheese that doesn't belong to you? Nacho cheese. I can't actually remember whether I've said it or not, but there is literally so much Christmas stuff in Asda. There's literally so much stuff in there. They're quite small. So do I have two? I'm gonna have two of these. I did get this to drink as like my breakfast. So it's just, to be fair, this obviously is just the packaging, but I've got the Tropicana Smooth um, Jingle Bells orange. Um, obviously it's got all the Christmas packaging out now so I'm gonna have some orange juice with my Christmas tree crumpets and yeah so I've got my Christmas tree crumpets and I've got my orange juice which is so nice and cold and refreshing and I am gonna finish eating my cheese advent calendar I need to get caught up on that but yeah, I think this is a pretty successful breakfast. Oh, guys, look at the tree. All oh, the lights are turned off. I've basically just been out for a few hours. It's like half past four, uh, but it feels a lot later than that because it's just so dark. Um, but yeah, it's 4.30 and I figured my belly rumbled. It is time to eat my... It's not lunch, because like I said earlier, it, I'm gonna have like an early dinner and then I'm having like a little evening food shenanigan tonight. So I'm gonna have my dinner now. Um, I am literally so excited for this dinner. I saw it, it was probably like the most expensive thing I bought from Asda for this video, I think. If, yeah, it definitely was, but it was it's gonna be so worth it. I just hope it is nice. So I basically got this Pigs in Blankets fondue. So it's 16 Pigs in Blankets with a gooey camembert center for some delicious dipping. They All the sausages have kind of gone everywhere. It was really nicely laid out before I brought it home, but it was five pounds, which I think is amazing. It's gluten-free as well 
well. I didn't notice that before. But I was like, that sounds absolutely delicious. I was like, you can't get any more Christmasier than Christmasier. Said that really weird. It doesn't get any more Christmasier than pigs in blankets. And I was originally going to get like pigs in blankets. I'm going to do some veg, some um, new potatoes and stuff to go with it. And then obviously I've got the camembert as well. I'm, I'm just about to take it out of the oven and it smells so good. I'm literally so excited. You can see. Watching Saffron Bark is vlogmas and it's really loud. Look at the little tea towels. We've got Christmas you tea towels that have just appeared. One of the boys will have got them. I'm literally, I'm so excited for this. Oh my god. Oh wow. Whoa. So the sausages look, in fact, everything to be honest looks slightly overdone. But I followed the the packaging with the timings and everything, it looks slightly overdone. I guess it depends how you like your sausages. I personally don't mind them being a little bit more crispy, but oh my goodness. So yeah, this is done. This probably is done now. I just did like loads of greens and like some potatoes and stuff just because I didn't want it to be too like sickly. I felt like it needed, obviously to make it a proper dinner, it needed like the greens. So I've just sat down and I've literally, I've just light, lighted, lit? <laughs> I've just lit this candle. I think it's from Sainsbury's but it's honestly like, it smells like Christmas. It's the best scented candle I ever smell when it comes to like Christmas time. It is so nice. Uh, so I just lit that all romantic. Um, so I've just put like the camembert on another plate and then I've just got 10 of the, um, what they call pigs in blankets and then I didn't realise how much veg I actually did. I wish I had gravy now. I could make some gravy because it looks a bit dry but I think I'm going to dip everything into the camembert. But I am so excited. I feel like it's definitely like a sharing kind of thing that I bought. I can imagine if you had that as a little entree or something, just everyone nibbling on the pig pigs and blankets. Because it's funny because, well it's not really that funny but when it comes to like my Christmas dinner, I never have pigs in blankets. Like I never will eat pigs in blankets on Christmas day with my Christmas dinner. I just get so full and I just eat what's on my plate. I never add them to it. Like what is wrong with me? But anyway, I've got them today and I'm very excited. Oh my God, yeah. So that's like the top, that's just like, I mean, I can't break through the top. That's what I was expecting. It's like just broke and melted apart on itself. I'm not sure if it was supposed to do that. Didn't look like that on the packaging, but here we go, Asda. I am excited. Oh my, mmm. That is literally life-changing. Wait, one more, one more. Got more on this time. I kid you not, I have finished the whole thing. It's all gone, even the cheese. It's gone. I was actually running out of that, to be honest, because I was dipping all the veg in and stuff. But I even went back and got the rest of the pigs and blankets that I'd left. I was thinking, oh, I could leave some for the boys. They could have a little taste. Nah, it was all, it is all in there. I actually really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed my dinner. So it's a few hours later now, and I can confirm I'm still very full from the old cannon there. And sausages, I did not expect to eat that much. But anyway, I cannot not eat my supper. We're gonna call it supper. Um, obviously I had dinner, skip lunch, that kind of thing. But this is just perfect. And for me, it just screams Christmas. I decided to get stuff for cheese and crackers, but lots of cool stuff. So I picked up this Jacobs, um, the festive selection, um, because you know, you can't go wrong with those crackers. I got Spanish salami selection. I picked up some olives as well. I know this is such a love-hate item, but I personally love olives. And then I got these. Um, so they're basically, uh, cheddar cheese, a red Leicester cheese and a Wensleydale but obviously they had the Christmas packaging like I just thought they were so cute and uh, so I've got these and I thought they were quite a nice size as well like they're not too big and um, I've also just got some cheddar there that I'm gonna use and I picked up this garlic and herb like 
um, that you put on like crackers and things. This is the merry one, so again, all nice and Christmas themed. Um, and then I have these. Um, these are six lu luxury mince pies. Well, I can't speak. They're mince pies. My brother has seen these. He has cited them. He really wants to eat them. I was like, you're gonna have to wait for me to have them first. But I've got the mince pies as well, which I may have after. Um, but I am gonna be super, super full, I think, after all this. But yeah, I'm just gonna plate it all up, and then this is gonna be my Christmas Eve supper. I'm very excited about this. I'm literally so excited. Back in the same spot again. Um, just got all my crackers. I don't know if I'll have them all. Um, James, I think is at work. They'll probably get back soon so he can help, but I am so excited. This was actually quite fiddly to get out of the wax things. Um, they look cute, but they're a bit of a pain, but I'm very excited to treat myself. Okay, so this is the aftermath. I actually managed to eat all the crackers. Who even am I? Um, I nearly ate all of this as well. I'm not sure if that's uh, that healthy. It's a lot of cheese. But yeah, that honestly was literally delicious. Sorry if you hate cheese because this looks pretty grim. On that note, I am gonna end this video here. If you did enjoy this 24 hour Christmas food challenge, then please give it a massive thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed for more weekly videos. I'm uploading on Mondays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. and there's a lot more Christmas content coming, vlogs, um, hauls, you name it. So make sure you're subscribed to keep up to date. Um, I hope you all have a super, super amazing day and I shall see you very soon with a brand new video. Mwah. Bye!